Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 11 of Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and welcome to Sketch Sunday as well because of course the Sketch Sunday crew um, whenever there is a 30 Days of Sketches we just play along with the 30 Days of Sketches. So today's lovely sketch is by Brandy Joe, and I will have her details, of course, linked down below as well as the playlist, as I have every day, the playlist to Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Series 12, and the Facebook group. So if you're not a member of the Facebook group, that link is down below as well. Pop on over there because every day there's an album for the series and then the sketch for the day and as a comment to that sketch everybody adds their layouts and you know sometimes there are links to instagram or to to youtube videos as well so if you're you're not um on instagram then you know the facebook group you can find all of the lovely lovely creations over there so now join if you want to join the facebook group please remember to answer the questions there are two questions they are very simple to answer but please remember to answer the questions because we just won't approve the request if there is no answers to the questions so just please do that if you um want to invite somebody to the group, probably the best thing to do would be to send them the link, tell them about it, and then in one of the answers to the questions, they can tell us, you know, who uh, referenced them or who sent them along. But by just inviting them, often they don't have the opportunity to answer the questions and we then don't approve them. So there you go. Off my soapbox onto the layout, my friends. So I love, as you know, this, you know, torn edges. Uh, this is definitely my kind of sketch. Photos a little bit, you know, not straight. This is definitely my kind of sketch. So I'm working with my collection obsession, New Day, and I have this lovely floral and I've already torn it. So my idea, so I did my tearing and the idea, of course, is I will get this up here and then I did some tearing down here but then I felt that it just sort of blended into the background a little bit too much there wasn't enough contrast because of course it is a gorgeous and colorful floral but on a white background and there is a fair amount of white so then I thought of various ideas I had my Bella Boulevard besties I did some tearing of that to maybe do like a layer under here but um i i didn't quite like that effect and i want to use this paper to map my photos um as one of the maps so i thought there might be a little bit too too much of this then showing and then i thought of maybe doing a little watercolor underneath and i thought that might be a little too solid because of course there is quite a bit of white showing so then I thought, why don't I just get a stencil and do a little bit of stenciling? So I bring in this lovely navy because I definitely wanted to use navy, but I leave the lightness of having quite a bit of white showing through. So got my Paige Evans stencil, uh, Midnight Muse from Stampin' Up, and just did a little pencil mark. Here so that I would know uh, where my strips of paper here uh, stopped. So you can even see the, the mark there. And then I went in and I did some stenciling. And I absolutely love that effect, my friends. I think that is just perfect. So we have that. Now, there seems to be a little extra mixed media on the background here. All I've done so far is, is just, you know, inked the this, the side edges in the same Midnight Muse. And so I have two photos, um, as Brandy does in her sketch. I think my photos are bigger than hers, so they will take up a lot more real estate. 
And I want to bring in, because you see this lovely sort of rose and pink color here, um, the scarf here, this is going to go in. I'm not sure whether this is going to be Erica's album or Chloe's, but one of the two. And this, uh, these photos will be done twice so that they're in the other album as well. So I thought I would bring in a nice layer of this pink. Yeah, you see? And then a layer of the navy from my Bella Boulevard besties. Yeah, and I think I'm going to like that. And I think I might make the pink a little bit bigger of a layer and then the navy a small layer. And I like that. So then my question is, will I want a little bit more mixed media or will it take up too much room? So let's, now you see I'm going to do a wide layer here. I think I'm going to leave this pretty, maybe not quite as wide. Let me get it down. Now I don't think I will leave it quite, quite, quite. Well, let's bring this over. Yeah, there we go. And then this one. I think I'll do it as one mat. That seems to be what Brandy did, so I think I will make it as one mat. Leave quite a bit in between here. There we go. Okay, so then I'll just take a little bit off the bottom here and I will go in with my trimmer and tidy this edge off, but so that we can see a little bit better how this might look. Let's at least do a little bit of cutting here. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to tighten up these layers, of course, and then get this on here, but it's going to take up quite a bit of real estate, but I think I can still bring in just a touch of stenciling over here. Let me go get the photos down, my friends, and then I will come back and we'll see where else we go with this. Okay, my friends, so I went off and I got my photos matted. Now, they do take up um, more real estate, I think, than uh, in the sketch. Uh, just a little bit, actually, so there isn't quite as much room but let me see we want to get these and I do want them a little bit I do definitely want them to follow the same idea as the sketch so let's get the photos down so I matted my photos and then as I said I sort of just had a quick look to see if I wanted to bring in a touch more of that stenciling and I did so there we go. Just brought a little bit so that I could mimic a little extra mixed media as there is in the sketch. That's just, I like the mist hue, but maybe not too, too much. So let me, but to follow the line here, I guess it does need to be a little bit more than my normal. All right, there we go. Let's, let's get that down. Now I went into... Uh, my Bramble Fox title pieces, and I think, I think this is a new one. Is this maybe from the May? My May box um, got quite delayed this time. Most times I would say I get my Bramble Fox goodies 10 days to two weeks. Two weeks is starting to get on the long side, but this was almost five weeks. And the May box just got here a couple of days ago. And I think, I think this was in the May box, was it not? And I like the idea, so um, Brandy Joe put a title, like a nice title up here on the top, and I think I like it spanning both photos. I don't want it to one side or the other. I do think I like it spanning both sides, and I do like this title. So let's get that on there. Did I take the backing off? No, of course not. See, I wanted you to see me take the backing off. Oh, my goodness, friends. Okay, do, do, do I have it on the front, too? Oh, yes, I do. There you go. So we have it everywhere. Oh, it's a much thinner 
backing, it seems. I don't know if that's something new um, and a lot easier to get off. Not that it was very, very difficult, my friends. So let's see, let's get. Lots of glue on here so I can get that lovely title piece down and I opted for the white I had in pink I had spring memories also in pink I forgot to bring it over here to show it to you um, but it was sort of a two in two lines you've seen me use it recently spring memories with a lovely little butterfly but it was in two lines and again I, I really wanted something a little bit thinner so one line and that would span over the photos there we go all right so i think that will do it let me get that on here oh yeah i do like that there we go unforgettable and i think i think it is actually perfect for these photos because this is definitely you know this is Chloe's semester abroad definitely definitely unforgettable and then her besties that were able to visit her during spring break also definitely unforgettable so I think that is just a perfect perfect title so my papers here and I brought the stickers over we'll see if there's anything here that I could use I brought this, and I know this is, is new, so I got this lovely camera uh, from Bramble Fox as well. You know how I love cameras. So, now my thought here is I have some lovely, Nicole, I have a Nicole Jones 911 viewfinder, a small one here. Do I want maybe a bit of a bigger one? And then one of these one inch circles and these are from Hey Little Magpie from the um do I want to do something like that from the International Scrapbooking Day yeah no I think I want the small and I want this under here and then this sort of brought in here I need to bring these down a little bit and then the camera yeah see I sort of like that and it's not taking up too much space now Brandy Joe has a bigger a much bigger cluster over here but I think I think I like this as is uh, I might pop Laurel, do I want me? I have this uh, this idea too. Sorry, I'm, I'm in French. We call it to cacalan. So I'm just I'm going back and forth here, and my 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 thoughts are just jumping around. I have this enjoy that I thought I might want to bring in, but in the end, I I, I don't think it will make it. Now I have these little squares as well. I think I have a pink one. Do I have a pink one there? Yeah, I do. Would I like that here instead? Would that go better here? No, I think I like the, I think I do like the circle. I have a larger one. No, I like the small ones. And do I want, here I have a bigger, I definitely have a, this I might bring up here because I might need a little bit bigger over on that side. So I think I might just do this, bring this in, bring this out a little bit, have this there with the camera. And I do think I like that. I, I think, there we go. Let's just get that in. Stop faffing. Bring that there. this here there I think yeah that's what I'm going to do though I'm going to bring it there all right and now I do want the camera here I like the camera I'll bring it over sort of a little bit like that but do I want a floral as well do I want to bring in I don't think I do I don't think I do I think I just sort of like that as is it's subtle but I like it and this gives some nice dimension. 
because the floral pattern paper gives quite a bit of interest as well. It's a little bit of a busier pattern paper, although there is a lot of white, but then we have the mixed media as well. Now, I love this camera here. Let me bring that there, bring it over a little bit. There we go. Just get that camera down. I'm not sure that we need anything else there, my friends, but now let's come up over here and see whether I need something a little bit bigger over here, and I think I do. Not quite. Let's tear this a little bit so that it goes down a little bit more. There we go. That sort of over there. Then we can bring a blue one in here, and then let's get a couple of florals. Do I want the blue? I want this. Oh, that's a little, that's a little too bright. These are all Nicole Jones 911 viewfinder, viewfinders, and you know, my beloved flowers number five. So I want to maybe do something like that. Now I've got some big ones, but I think these are too big. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe if I put the yellow one. Oh, maybe this one. What do you think? This one? And then we could pop sort of a pink underneath. No, no, I don't like that. Do I want, where's the big yellow? The big yellow, that's too big, isn't it, my friends? It is too big. All right, so let's go back. Maybe though we could put yellow, pink, and then a smaller, do I have a smaller blue? I do, maybe a smaller blue right there. I think I like that. And I wanna maybe, no, that, you see, that's not the right blue now that I have the florals there. Do I want, do I want to pop this in here? No, I don't. All right, so let's get those down, and I think I might just bring this up a little bit, but let me get the pink one down to start with. That is the first thing. Bring that and bring it over so that it overlaps the title. There we go. Then we'll bring this blue viewfinder over. And like I said, I think I'll bring it in a little bit more. There we go. And then let's put a yellow flower. Now I didn't bring my foam dots, did I? Because I, now do I want pink? And blue, do I want yellow? Maybe tuck a small yellow one under here. Or does it sort of upset the balance a little bit? I'm not sure that I want yellow, or do I? Um, I do, I kind of like it. Pop that there. And we'd have to bring another maybe yellow one over here for a little bit of balance. Let me see. You know what, friends? I need to go get I need to go get some foam dots. So let me go do that. Okay, I'm not sure because you see, oops, that went the big flower went flying off because I don't have any yellow down here. Now, unless there is something on the sticker sheet that I could bring in. That's in the yellow, oh, maybe this, maybe this little bit of a macaron. Would that be cute popped in there? It would. Okay, that might bring a little bit of yellow in there. Uh, do I have, and this may be this little yellow flower. I pop that along here maybe under here, 
yeah there we go okay so I do like that now that does bring in a little bit of yellow but it's a much paler yellow of course than um, we have in these florals so let's let's see oh let me see now I have this fun hmm that's a rainbow but I kind of like that Bring that up a little bit more and then we can bring that okay so this needs to come up then a bit there we go I do like that there let's pop up let's pop this up on foam there we go Okay, I like that. There we go. And then that's got a little bit of the paler yellow. So I think I might leave that and bring the blue in here. And you see the blue can be flatter, but just sort of popped up on one side. All right, we've almost got that done. because this really doesn't need much. I think this sketch is lovely with using a little bit of mixed media. There we go. All right, I like that. And this, yeah, see that is too yellow now, but I think I do want another little floral up there. Or do I want to pop, aha, how about if I pop that in there? No. I thought I might like that, but I don't. Let's see, do I want to pop this? No. All right, so I think we want another little floral. Shall I do a blue or a pink? A pink, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I do want another little pink. There we go, and it too will get popped up on one side. There we go. Put that there. And a little bit of blue here. And we'll pop it up on one side right in there. There we go. All right. Now I do like that. And you know what, my friends? I'm not sure that I need much of anything else there's maybe just a little bit down here that's sort of a an awkward shape do I want to put maybe one of these cute little bramble fox flowers and then put one sort of there to finish it off does that bring everything down here I don't like then if this brings in a little bit more of the pale pale yellow this might finish that off nicely or do I want because is there anything else here that I could pop there's another camera the sunshine a little bee I don't think there is anything else here that I want to pop there unless do I want to bring maybe this no rainbow so you know what my friends I do think let's stop clapping and I do think I want to just bring these little for you've seen me put them on my table so often there we go and I haven't used them and they are really so cute so let's pop one there and a little bit of the pale yellow there oh I think I'm liking this I think Chloe and Erica will like it as well now these are more Chloe's colors. Pink is her favorite color, whereas a, a lovely sage green like here is more Erica's color. So I think I might put this one in Chloe's album and then find, uh, and even there is a lovely gingham pattern paper in this collection um, 
that is this lovely green that that uh, Erica likes. So I might bring that in for her album and put this one in Chloe's. So I think that does it, my friends. So there you go. Um, 30 Days of Sketches, Series 12, Day 11, Sketch Sunday. So in addition to the playlist and the Facebook group down below, of course, as I always put, I will have my Sketch Sunday pals listed down below specifically um, because I don't think... Uh, Crystal and I are playing along. Crystal is definitely doing every single day of 30 days of sketches. I missed days one and two. I have not missed anything else so far. Let's see how it goes. But Crystal is definitely doing every single day. I'm doing as much as I can. Um, I know Nicole is playing along with this on Sundays. Uh, Sandra is doing... Um, days more than just the sketch sunday as well anyway sketch sunday crew will be listed down below separately my friends and i will see you back here very very soon thank you as always for being here with me bye for now my friends